recent public service announcement for the Daniel K. Inouye College of Pharmacy has ruffled a few feathers at the state legislature. This PSA was one of many that showcases different campuses in the University of Hawaii system. The airtime was reportedly donated by a Honolulu TV station. Among the images of student achievement and learning at UH Hilo's Pharmacy College, the PSA also made what some lawmakers interpreted as a pitch for a new building to serve the college. It pumps millions of dollars into the economy. But the college is spread out to more than four locations and needs a permanent home or its national accreditation will be affected. The locally designed project is now waiting for funding by the state legislature. It's ready to go so as soon as we secure the funding uh, we can have a groundbreaking and secure the future of the college. The message did not sit well with Representative Sylvia Luke, who questioned UH President David Lassner during this joint committee briefing on Oahu. Recently, you know, maybe it's for you, said, um, President Lassner. Okay. Recently, the University of Hawaii has been running public service announcement to pressure the legislature to fund the pharmacy school. So my question is, Whose decision was that and who should we thank for making that decision? Um, I understand although the public service announcement was free um, to the university, apparently university chose out of all the things that they could highlight about the university, they decided to use that spot to pressure the legislature. So whose decision was that? Yeah. Thank you, Chair Luke. That was not a specific decision that was made at this time. That particular offer was made last August by the general manager of K5, the TV station. I don't know if you folks remember that he offered $50,000 worth of free airtime for the next year. Right, we understand that. Right. So, so we, I don't think it was K5 that said, oh, why don't you run some ads to um, tell the legislature to fund pharmacy school. I'm sure it came from the university. What we did was work with each campus to determine what issues they wanted to feature, and we put them in just a regular evenly spread rotation. It was not specifically meant to run at this particular time at all. Well, it was. So um, whose decision was it? Well, we've actually asked them to take the spot off the air because of that very but concern. But it was not a specific decision. decision. It was a almost like a random, uh, we put them in a certain rotation and Right, random. but so, somebody at the university must have decided we should put that spot on. It's not as if K-5 did it on their own. Uh, no, again, we, we allotted a certain amount right. every month and we Who's decided last decision August. decision was it? <laughs> Who made the decision to film that and say, let's put that on TV? Um, I'm sorry, so... Um, David, maybe you should just <laughs> take the credit for that. <laughs> because but, it has to come from somewhere. Somebody must have said, okay, let's do this. So You must um, have filmed it and put it on. Somebody must have done it. Right. So the, um, I learned about this Monday morning, and you're, you're delighted seeing that ad. Um, the, each campus was invited, I think, as, as Lynn said, to oh, yeah, select a program. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get the answer. I don't think anybody's going to own up. So No, Chancellor Straney will own up. He just told me to selecting the College of Pharmacy, which is a program of which he's very proud and the community is very proud. Okay. I selected the College of Pharmacy as the subject, and my intention was to give the college an opportunity to tell the story of how it has an impact on the quality of rural health care in the state. I don't so think that's each, how it turned out in the editing. Each chancellor uh, was given a spot, and it was your decision to yes. highlight this. Okay, thank you. The Daniel K. Inouye College of Pharmacy is again hoping the legislature approves funding for its new building in order to maintain its valued accreditation.